Hey Bowie, do you want a puppuccino? Can you have a puppuccino without throwing up? I feel like that's a yes, but I feel like I'm gonna vote no as your mother. But I get some drinks. Hey, what are we doing today? Today we are going to build a slide rail. A slide rail! What's up everybody? Welcome to Queer Girl Straight Skates. Today I have brought my friend Jessie along because she and I are going to learn how to build a slide rail. I'm very excited. I'm scared of sliding and so this is gonna be a good first step for me for sliding. Jessie's already built one and she is improving like crazy. I'll throw in a video right now of her sliding on her slide rail. So I of course said, Jessie, let's teach everyone to make these slide rails. So here we go. What is a slide rail? A slide rail is a bar with a PVC pipe or really any kind of pipe that you want on the top. And it's a tool. Oh, Bobo. It's a tool to help you learn how to slide. How hard are they to build? They are really, really easy to build. So I want to build a slide rail. What's my first step? So the first step is you have to go get the hardware for it. And where do I go to get the hardware? You can go to any hardware store to get the brackets and the screws and then wherever they sell lumber to get uh, the wood. We need tools. So, brought my drill gun. Drill bits. You can also do it by hand. It's just gonna be a lot harder, easier with power tools. Um, hacksaw to cut the PVC pipe. As you can see, the PVC pipe is about two feet longer than the two by four. Um, you can make it easier by buying the same length wood as PVC pipe if that's what you wanna do. We have brackets. These ones I'm using are one and a half inch brackets. Um, I have four. Uh, depending on the length of your wood is how many you wanna get. You wanna space these out maybe like every two feet or so. That's why I have four for an eight foot uh, bar. And some screws. These are um, eight gauge, one three quarters. You don't wanna go too wide because it'll split your wood. Uh, these are to bolt the PVC pipe onto the bar. We have our boards uh, painted. If you would like to, um, you don't have to. You can make it plain. You can do whatever you want with it. We're going to install the brackets. Um, this is obviously the pretty side. So we're gonna flip it over. Okay. And we're gonna put the brackets in the ugly side. Or okay. Plain side. Depending on how you did your design is how you're going to want to put your brackets. Yours is pretty much interchangeable. The only thing we're going to be mindful with yours is, I didn't notice until later, that we have this weird piece right here. Oh, uh, okay. Um, when you're looking for wood, you really kind of want to look at it over better. I looked for the wood to make sure it didn't bow, Uh huh. but um, right here, it's kind of got a chunk missing out of it. It's not going to hinder it too much. We just want to be mindful when we're putting the brackets that um, this side goes to the floor. Okay. Because you're not going to be able to uh, mount your your uh, PVC pipe steadily to that. Oh, okay. So so other imperfections like this kind of a thing, does it matter? Like this part right that here? That doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and also depending on what kind of wood you use is going to determine if there are any imperfections like that. Because I'm just starting to build these and these are kind of like just starter rails. As you can tell, they're gonna be very low to the ground. Once we get better at sliding, we can get higher, better quality wood. Okay. Um, so that will give us a more challenge to jump up higher. These ones are really just for starters to try to work on actually getting up there and sliding. What kind of wood is this, just regular? This is prime wood, so it's not super high quality wood. These planks were actually only like $1.50 each. Sick. Um, but you can get into harder woods um, that are gonna be a lot smoother. They're not gonna have any imperfections like that, um, if that's something that's important to you. The first, the first time I did uh, mine, I only put one bracket over here and one bracket at the end, and in the middle, you can tell that there was no support, so when I jumped on it, the pipe kind of dipped down. Uh, so that's why we want to install them closer to each other to give it the boards more support so that they stay together and they're stronger. Awesome. 
So you drill bit and you drill bit guide holes and they're not like super necessary, but they do make your life a lot easier. Okay. And then what? Okay, so you see we've already put some of the brackets on. We're gonna put this last one right here. We spaced them out about evenly along the board. First one starts maybe about four inches off of the side. You don't want it too far. You also don't want it too close because okay. right here, um, it's gonna be hard to drill in. You're gonna knock nails inside the wood. And over here, you obviously have like no support on the side. Okay. So you just want it kind of, you know, a good, like I said, like four inches or so away. Okay. We're just gonna drill these in. These are just the screws that came with the bracket. Um, if you put the first one too tight, you're not gonna be able to move this around. So just kind of like tack it in there because you want to be able to, I don't know if you can see right here, if I, this has to be pretty much even right across here. If you have it like that, it's gonna be really hard to mount this board. So you wanna make sure that it's nice and even. So get that first hole done and adjust before you put the, the second two. Okay, and we're just gonna, now that we have this straightened, we're just gonna drill these other ones in. And then after these are done, just go back and tighten up that first one. Next step, is we're gonna bring the other board over. And we're going to drill them like this. This is where it helps to have someone, if you have like a buddy that you can work with, just to kind of hold it up here and make sure that everything is lines up. These boards should be, you know, flush together. You don't want it like this. You don't want it like that. It should be nice and straight together. And then over here, the same thing. You want these brackets, this bracket to be nice and flush with this piece of wood. Hold it up. And then, like with the other board, first we're gonna drill in the guide holes. Okay. So, you make sure that this side is straight over here and your buddy will do the same on that side at the very end to make sure that everything lines up. It's like, kind of not connecting in the middle. Is that okay? That's okay. okay. Um, and that's a good point to bring up. When you are looking for wood and when you're actually picking it out in the, sh in the store, you wanna make sure that the boards are as straight as possible okay and not bowed all right so we flipped it over and this is where we're at this looks so good all right now what jesse okay so now we got our one and a quarter inch pvc pipe we're gonna put it down again as you can see it's considerably longer technically it's two feet longer because we got 10 foot pvc pipe on an eight foot wood we're going to make sure we line it up on that side. Line it up. And we're going to take our cool hacksaw. Hacksaw! And cut this side off. Um, ideally, if you have power tools, this would be a good time to use a bandsaw or whatever kind of saw you have, rather than using a hacksaw. The hacksaw takes a while. But we're just gonna cut through this pipe. Um, what they also sell is they also sell a thing that's specifically made just to cut your PVC pipe. And it's called just a ratcheting PVC pipe cutter. Home Depot sells them for like 15 bucks, but I'm hella cheap. And this was only like $7, so nice. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go back to our drill gun. We're gonna put our drill bit back in. Obviously this isn't my idea. Like this isn't like something I just came up with. I saw videos of other people making the same thing, um, mostly for skateboards. So what they did was they were able to drill nails right into the pipe going down in. 
Now, obviously a skateboard doesn't have sliding blocks. So I don't want to do that because um, I can just picture myself hitting the nail on my sliding block and just falling over. Yeah. So the way that I'm doing these is I'm packing them down at both ends. Uh, you'll notice, uh, as with mine, that leaves this side right, that leaves the inside just kind of loose. So far, it has not been a problem. I've been able to slide across mine and the weight of my body puts it down and the nails on the sides don't let it slide, don't let the bar spin or anything. So, so far, it's been cool. So, now we're gonna come in, and you can see on this side, we're gonna take our drill bit, and we're gonna drill through this PVC pipe, okay? It's gonna go diagonally um, through the pipe into this piece of wood. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So. Sometimes that happens when you don't put your drill bit on guide bit. Now that we have our guide bolts, we're gonna go back to our screws that you're using for this. As you can see, these ones are gonna go a little over halfway into the wood. You don't wanna get something too short where you're only gonna have that much amount of support and you obviously don't want something too long that's gonna go completely through the wood. Okay. Um, usually that's not gonna be a problem unless you're using like really short wood. So, using our guide hole. These ones are a little tricky to put in uh, because they're kind of at an angle. Okay. That is cool. One. Um, as you'll notice, I have a pretty long drill bit on here. Or, not a drill bit, but uh, I have a pretty long bit on here. Uh, most drill guns only go up to here. That is going to be very difficult to use. So if you have a drill gun that doesn't have an extended bit, I would highly suggest that for this part. Okay, and that side is secure. Check it out. out. Sick. And just like that, it's done. Oh my gosh, Jesse! You yeah. literally made the slide bar of my dreams come true. And only took what, like 15 minutes? It took like 15 minutes. Not including the painting and the shopping, but I am so, oh my God, this is so nice. Okay, now I just, I guess I have to try sliding on it now. So um, how much did this whole thing cost? So without um, paint supplies to uh, customize it, everything turns out to be less than $20. How much have you improved sliding just since having yours? I have actually can slide on, on my sliding bar now, whereas before I really couldn't do much. I could maybe get on it and that's about it. Do you think anyone could build this or? Oh yeah, no, anyone can for sure build this. Um, like I said, if you have a drill gun and you have the tools for it, it's a lot easier. You can 100% do it with just your hands. It's just gonna be a big pain in the ass. The most important thing to make your life easier is to pick good pieces of wood. So um, don't pick any wood that has like big chunks miss missing out of it like I did with yours. Again, make sure the wood is as straight as possible and not bowed. Um, you can put it on the floor and just kind of like push down on it. If you, if it pushes down, it's bowed piece of wood. If it can't push down, if it's already flat on the floor, you should be fine. All right, and then really quick, can you tell me what um, your Instagram is and what you do for fun slash a living as well? Um, my Instagram is at the awkward skater. Um, it's also at damn it underscore Jesse. Um, I'm a photographer. Yeah! Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thanks for watching this episode of Queer Girl Street Skates. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you run into any issues, comment them down below and I'll force Jesse to answer them for you uh, slash do my best to answer them as well. <laughs> and for all your roller skating needs from helmet to toe stop, go to planetrollerskate.shop. And until next time, later, later skaters! skaters. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Ha ha ha!